Okay, so I'm just telling this short and sweet roundabout, all redneckish and shit, but it's a good story, listen, right? So long ago, or at least this is a Buddhist legend or story or fable, I'm not sure, but it does teach a lesson. Um, there is this monk who lived in a monastery that was, like, pretty cool. Um, it was blessed by having a rich man who feeds them. He was very involved in their church or whatever. Monk, do monks have churches? questions that I never thought about. Anyway, um, this dude was pretty fortunate. He was getting like good daily meals. He was just like living life. He's very peaceful, very contented. Then the one day, this new monk, this is wandering monk who had been a seeker of truth somehow, um, just happened to come by and the rich dude like of the village, he noticed him. He was just like, hey, you're pretty cool. And they had a conversation and he liked how the guy talked to him. He was just like, oh, hey, you sound all way better than love and light and shit. You sound enlightened like a motherfucker. You're not woke. You wake. I want to be wake too. So like, he was all cool with them. Now this one monk who has been the village monk, um, I'm sure there are other monks, of course, but, you know, he's, he's a village monk. He's one of them anyway. Um, he notices this. <clears throat> he peeps it just a little bit, right? And, like, they all have a good time. They have meals, whatever. Next day, like, the rich man, like, he's speaking with, like, the new monk again. And, like, village monk is looking over at it. And just like... What if he likes this guy more than me? What, like, what if he replaces me? I really don't like this. I don't think I like this. Why is he talking? Like, why is he so interested in him? I don't like this. I don't think I like this monk. I think this monk is a threat to my position, honestly. You know. So at one point uh, in the morning, everyone was going to go for their alms food. Um, now, this monk should have rang the gong loud enough for people to hear, but he barely tapped his fingernail on it to where not even the mice in the temple could hear and when he went to knock on this wandering monk's door, his visitor, he barely even scratched it with a fingernail, not even to where, like, the bugs were disturbed inside. And then he just left. He was like, oh, I guess he's not waking up. Hmm. And then he just, you know, continued on. He's just like, you're not going to take my breakfast, motherfucker, which is like, it's alms food. I don't know what alms food is. I'm sure it's important, but whatever. Anyway, he goes, he meets up with everyone. Everyone's just like, hey, where's Wanderer, dude? And he's just like, oh, I mean, I rang the gong and I knocked on the door. He just, he just I guess he just didn't, I guess he, maybe he's tired. He, maybe he's having a hard time digesting. He did have some, like, really good food. I, I even had a hard time waking up. Maybe he just needs a little bit more rest, right? So they're all, like, having a good time or whatever. Um, at some point, the rich man gives the village monk a plate of alms for you. He's just like, hey, give this to our visitor. That way they, they have a nice hearty meal for the day. And like, he's just looking at this plate, right? Meanwhile, the wanderer monk had already woken up, gotten cleaned up, and decided to go wander somewhere else and look for where he could find some breakfast. It's all food somewhere. He's just like, oh, I guess I missed it already. I'll go ahead and go. And he just takes off and does whatever. Now, the village monk, he still has his plate of food. And he's just like, if I give this to him, He'll want to stay longer. Look at all this food. Like, I, I can't believe he's giving him this food. Like, I, like, I, like he's never given me food like this. And I want to make sure I don't lose out on my food. So, what does this monk do? Like, he can't, like, just get rid of it. He can't give it to anybody, you know? Like, because people would recognize that it came from and be wondering, like, where the fuck did you get that? That's, like, monk food, I, I assume. I could be wrong, but I assume. Um, you know, he, he couldn't, like, just dispose of it in the old regular way because somebody could pick it up and see it and wonder what happened. He couldn't eat it himself because he just got done eating. He didn't even know he was carrying food back. But he eventually finds, like, a set of burning coals where they were where a bunch of farmers set fire to the soil to enrich it. And he decides to throw all of this food into this field of burning coals instead of giving it to the monk. And eventually he goes up to where, uh, goes back up to wherever the fuck dude is. I guess the temple or whatever, right? <clears throat> Checks where Monk is. Turns out he's not there anymore. He just disappeared. And the Monk's just like, okay, he's gone. But what have I done? I just kept this dude from eating for the day. 
Maybe he went away because I did that? Did he know I did that? Ooh, right? And he, he was kind of, like, convicted by it. It bothered him. And, like, his bit, and the whole reason was based on his fear that, you know, like, he wouldn't be able to eat every day. Well, this is a setup of Dharma, right? So now, because he did that, he suffered a thousand and one lives. The first 500 lives he spent reincarnated as a starving demon. He came back as a starving demon 500 times. And there was only one time where this dude felt full from eating. And that was the afterbirth from a deer in the forest, right? The other half, he came back as a stray dog 500 times. And he was always fighting for food, always hungry. And the only time he was actually full was one and was in one lifetime. And that's when he found some vomit in the gutter. And then finally, he was given one lifetime where he gets to be human again. And in that life, he was called a Mitivanda, I think it's called. I don't know. I'll find the name and like put it in the title. And uh, as soon and he was born to a poor beggar family but his birth made them even more poor even more destitute and miserable at some point they even ended up chasing him away being like you have been a curse upon us get the fuck out of the house you know um so this guy had a thousand and one lifetimes he had to spend as a starving demon, a starving dog, and a child who is nothing but a financial curse for his parents, all because he got jealous and decided to keep somebody else from eating because he was scared he wasn't going to have food. Which is like, mm. So that's why you shouldn't be jealous. You know, even the Bible says uh, jealousy is uh, the antonym of love and uh, the mark of the unbeliever. So, yeah, don't do that. Okay. Got a good one.